Appreciate it. Turning out of sports and Dana Green. <laughs> and Dana, I'm etching it on my calendar next October. <laughs> yes, it's now official. BYU is going to play Notre Dame next October 8th in Las Vegas. As for this week's game, the Cougars rivalry with Utah State has been pretty even recently. In fact, they've split the last six meetings. Friday night's game in Logan should be especially good because you have to go all the way back to 1978 to find a game when both teams have a combined record as good as seven and one. Is the battle for the old wagon wheels still a rivalry? Well, depends on which team you ask. I've never seen Utah State as a rival. I know that we there's the wagon wheel and stuff, but I've only played them once. I didn't play them the, the last time that we won it. I mean, I just see them as another team. I do consider them a rival, but I feel like uh, oftentimes there's people who really dislike us, and to us, they're just another team. Everybody that I've met since I moved to town has made it really clear to me how much they this rivalry means to them and this is one we got to win and need to win. I, I get all that. I love college ball for rivalry's sake. Yeah, this one means a lot to me. Um, I know quite a few guys on their team. So this one, this one does mean a lot. Since they started playing for the Wagon Wheel Trophy back in 1948, it's traveled to both campuses, as tough as it may be to move. That Wagon Wheel's heavy, man. I'm not, I'm not really, but at least you can roll it. Yeah, you're not lifting it up by yourself, that's for sure. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty stocky, um, but I'm you know, hopefully looking forward to, to lifting it up again with a couple of my teammates this weekend. Ranked 13th in the country, this will be BYU's first true road game of the season, and they're expecting a hostile crowd at Maverick Stadium. We're excited just for the challenge to play away, to kind of hear the boos. Uh, I know a lot of athletes get up for that uh, when they hear boos and they hear taunting, and Utah State definitely is hostile. I feel like negative energy, positive energy, regardless of what it is, it's all energy. When we hear those boos, when we hear that negativity, I feel like that, that just gives us a little more fire. We need them bigger than ever on Friday night. We need a packed house, electric, loud. We need to make BYU as uncomfortable. This is an opportunity to beat a top 20 team, an in-state opponent, and a rival. There you Woo. go. It's a rivalry. You know, last year, BYU and Utah State didn't play, of course, because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And you'd think the Cougars have dominated. They did from 94 to 2013. They went, they went 13 out of 14. But like I said, more recently, three and three the last six games. Mm. So it's been pretty even. Should be an electric atmosphere yeah. Friday night. And the first true road game and they don't even have to travel that far. Right. They don't have to leave the state. I know because that game against Arizona and Vegas, that was all right. Cougar fans. So yeah. this really is their first road test. Oh, right. and you can feel that like tension between them. They're ready for that. People in Logan are like, bring it. Let's oh, go. Yeah. Let's the do this. The competition's on. All right. Thank you, Dana.